students welcome to eduate in our previous session we have learnt about the significance of accumulation of variation in this session we we'll learn about the rules for inheritance of traits students today we know that every child's genetic material has equal contribution from both mother and father and there are two versions of each trait in a child now the question is which version is expressed in the formation of a child all these was discovered for the first time by gregor johann mendel for which he is called the father of genetics mendel conducted his experiments on garden peas for his experiments mendel chose contrasting visible characteristic of garden peas like tall and short plant round and wrinkled seeds yellow and green seeds white and purple colored flowers etc and produce progeny by crossing them after his experiments he put forward laws about which you'll study in details in your 12th standard in your 10th standard we'll just learn how he conducted this experiments and what are the results he concluded first let us understand the mono hybrid inheritance which concerns the inheritance of a single trait for example the high trait in order to understand the inheritance of a single trait mendel chose two plants a pure bred tall pea plant and a pure bred short pea plant here pure bred means that the genotype will have the same genes meaning in case of the tall plant the trait of the height from both parents is tall he represented this as capital t capital t likewise in case of the short plant the height trait from both the parents is short he represented this as small t small t he cross bred them and he noted the occurrence of these traits in the progeny of successive generation he observed that in the first filial generation all the progeny were tall which means in the f1 generation only the tall trait showed up and the short trait did not show up at all mendel then chose any two plants from this f1 generation and crossed them again the offsprings that were produced were called the second filial generation or f2 generation mendel observed that in the f2 generation both the tall and the short plants showed up he noticed that in the f2 generation 3/4 of the plants were tall and 1/4 short out of a total of 1064 pea plants of the f2 generation 787 were tall plants and 277 were short plants which gives us the ratio of tallish to short as 3 is to 1 from this mendel found out that whenever there is a trait like capital t it will always be expressed even when it's present with a small t but traits like small t can be expressed only when it's present with another small t from his experiments mendel concluded that in the first filial generation or f1 generation the characteristics or traits from only one parent is expressed in our case only the tall trait showed up whereas the short trait did not show up at all but in the second filial generation or f2 generation the traits from both the parents showed up in our case both the tall trait and the short trait showed up in the ratio of 3 is to 1 mendel called this repressed trait of shortness as the recessive trait and the expressed trait of tallness as the dominant trait so students this session was all about the mono hybrid inheritance of traits in our next session we'll learn about the dihybrid inheritance of traits